Bismillahirrahmanirrahim dear students assalamu alaikum and welcome to office.com.bk this is your biology class and we are talking about meiosis we have studied previously the prophase 1 metaphase 1 and anaphase 1 of meiosis 1 now we are going to study the telophase 1 now this is the last phase here the nuclear membrane will reappear it will reappear and it will be reorganized around each set of chromosome now the number of chromosome is half as in anaphase 1 so separate nuclear membrane will be formed so that uh, each cell will receive a proper nucleus the nucleoli will reappear and the two nuclei will be formed with half number of chromosomes chromosome number will be n or half the nucleoli reappear and later on the cytoplasm will divide just like cytokinesis after that cytokinesis to divide the cell into two daughter cells so here the first phase or the meiosis 1 will be terminated it is also to be noted that chromosome number may decondense during this state they may become less apparent chromosomes may decondense which means they may become less visible now let us see this with the help of a diagram the cell is totally elongated like this now here we have the half number of chromosomes the nucleoli are reappearing after that they will be cytokinesis the invagination from both the side will constrict inward and it will divide the cell into two daughter cells each with half number of chromosomes they will be n n starting from the two n parent cell the end result will be two haploid cells now after this the cells may go into interphase just as in mitosis but here they will not duplicate there will be no duplication just the resting phase so after that they will experience a similar cell division like mitosis which will be known as meiosis 2 now there are two daughter cells you can see we we obtained here the nn they will undergo mitosis now all the phases like uh, the prophase metaphase and anaphase which will be prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 of this phase they will be just like mitosis now this n will be retained as such each cell will give two further daughter cells now the chromatids will be separated this will also give two cells here we can see the chromatids are separated just like that mitotic apparatus is formed and the chromosomes will arrange themselves at the equator the individual chromatids will move towards the opposite poles and then ultimately four nuclei will be formed at the respective poles of the two daughter cells cytokinesis will take place at the end which will divide the cell each cell into two further cells and hence we will obtain 
four daughter cells and all of them will be haploid so generally meiosis aims that a 2n number of chromosome is reduced to half and this is generally happening at the time of gamete formation this is all about the phases of meiosis in the next video we will talk about the importance of meiosis till then take care of yourself keep studying and keep watching office.com.pk allah hafiz